Let's go. Hi guys, I'm back to film another video. This video is gonna be like my favourites for November in October. Anyway, because I've been busy with the last couple of months, I haven't shown still off some favourites and I've kind of really been using the same products as I was with my September favourites. Um I'll show my back. So I'm gonna combine the two because at the end of next month I'll probably get to get up with the two So the combined favourites. Starting off with the Spanish Sounds like a good idea. Um, cut. To start off with, I've been using the um, Nivea Young Control Shine Mattifying Gel Cream. Uh, I've been using it as a primer and as a moisturizer. So instead of putting two, I'm just putting one thing on my face. It works really well, just that, you know. Blah, blah. Um, it was like $10 for this little tiny tube. Like in Australia, $10. And it's the size of my hand. It's tiny. Anyway, but it works really well and you only need like the tiny little bit, otherwise you're just a mess of oil Um Still face is the Biore Triple Action Toner. Um, I got this because I know my other toner. This works, it's it's really like it, I have that really refreshed, I've just turned my face, feeling, um, and it's 250 mils and it's silic acid free, it's got silic acid, sorry, and it's oil free, um, it's really great, um, and then I should do the one hair product that I have, and it's the Vita 5 CPR for frizzy hair. Um, if I put it, you put it in when it, it's wet, um, just, you know, scrunch it into the ends and whatever's left just fluffy, um, works really well and it smells like, it smells like, oh, so amazing. Anyway, and it works, you know, and it's really expensive though, um, but once again you only need like the tiniest little bit, otherwise your hair ends up so greasy, it's gross. Now onto the beauty, yay. I'm um, starting off with my foundation and it's the uh, Revlon Colorstay in 240 medium beige um, and for oily combination skin. I do have oily skin so it makes sense to use oily combination skin. Uh, yeah, it's the Revlon Colorstay. Everyone talks about Revlon Colorstay. Um, just foundation I go to every day. Um, and then my setting powder, I just use the Maybelline fit me. Um, I'm actually the pen on it. Um, in colour 120 classic ivory. And it's just just a powder really. It just sets all the pattern. Um, makes it all sit so nice. It's almost it's amazing powder. And then my concealer which has been my godsend brush oh, sure. for like the past two months. Um, is the Collection by Bloom Quick Fix Kit Concealer Fair to Medium um, So down the bottom here it has I can't even think of the word now um, Illuminizer Illuminizer then the two characters The yellow character and green character And I'm pretty sure yellow I told you here Yellow has dark circles and green is for redness um, So you just put the one under your foundation and it helps um, you got your foundations in fair, medium and dark. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, it's weird. But great concealer. Um, usually on the mix of these two end ones and mix them together, pop them under the eye. I've been doing wonders the past like, a couple of months. Um, I think this was in my last favourites, but I still love it. It's amazing. Uh, it's the CoverGirl Advanced Radiant Press Powder in Soft Honey, 125 Soft Honey. Um, it's like that, just average brown powder. And I actually use this to contour because I can't get a powder that doesn't oxidize on my skin besides a foundation powder. It's my contour powder and it's amazing. I love it. 
And then the two blushes, the first blush that I've been using this month. This one is also my last favourite. It's broken. Bravo. Um, it's Maybelline Fit Me in medium nude. It's, it's broken. I'm so sad. Um, because you can't get this colour anywhere anymore. Um, see, I've pen on it. This just brings out the most beautiful shine. And it's a nice rosy colour where you don't want too much. But it's really shimmery like that's the only thing really like crazy shimmery. Um, so it's great and it doesn't make my face too gross. Um, and then moving on to the next blush. It's been my pink skin by MAC. And it's a shoe tone. Um, this too just gives you the most... Uh, it's like a pink covering. Light purple. The blush, the cheek is amazing. It's beautiful, actually. Um, I'd probably suggest it to anyone just starting out because you kind of can't really go wrong with it. Um, now moving on to eye stuff. Um, it's my favourite mascara this month. Has definitely been the L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D. Um, just you know, average mascara. That's what I have on my lashes right now. Um, just gives them a really nice coating. Although it's like starting to dry out, so it's getting a bit comfy and gross. So I have to get a new one. Um, and this one's just in black. Yep. And then the next thing has been um, my Essence Stay All Day Lasting Eyeshadow in O1 Copyright. And it's just like a beautiful copper colour. And I, just, I use this under air. So, I ran out of space on my memory card, so I have loads of that. I can be also within dark. Anyway, so what I was saying is the next product, in my eyes product, is the Essence Day or Day in copyright. Um, as the name suggests, it's copper. Uh, just, you know, I wear it under anything. I wear it under white. I wear it under anything. Um, yeah, it's, you know, perfect. And it does actually, like, it costs $5. And it actually stays better than some of the primers I have spent a lot more money on. So, it's just for eyes and it works wonders, actually. Um, and, yeah, that's it one. That's that one. And, again, a Vindicator Naked Colour. Um, so, just purple. And, fuck, that is the only colour. I use only this. The other time we even touch that to have that's so doggy. Um no this bark. Ooh, sorry, I can't um I just use bark in my crease and it just you know makes it look a bit more grown up. Not so more not so much glittery and whatnot. Um Yeah, so that's that one. And my last eyes product, my second last product. <sighs> Is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. Um, it's a bit dirty, so that's just what the one looks like. You should wonder. Um, but what wonders? Like crazy wonders. Uh, and six dollars. I can afford to use it as much as I like. Uh, but I just need to my brows to keep them in place and not like during the past couple months. And my last final product, I've clicked on this thing, um, is the Revlon Color Burst with Butter in Oh 090, 090, Sweet Tart, um, Wipe This Off Second Day Swatch, it's pretty pink, like, it is the most beautiful pink colour, um, and just, just pink, no pink lipstick. And that's what I actually have on my lips right now. And it just works wonders. Um, and those have been my monthly favourites. Everything that you've seen here, you know, has been purchased with my own money, blah blah blah, blah the whole range. Um, what's on my eyes? Oh, I can't remember. 
Um, but I've got buck increase and I've got like purple Maybelline color study on my bottom waterline. On my face, I've got ribbon color study and I've got contour powder, MAC blush and then like the Maybelline fit blush. And my lips is the Revlon lip butter and sweet tart. Um, I'll leave my Instagram and my Twitter down below. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you for watching my kind of two monthly favourites in my video. And 